All right, good morning. Good morning. Do um, you want to say hello and uh, introduce yourself to the uh, TV audience? <laughs> I'm Lucy. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. Good. And I'm excited to be here. Yeah, now, uh, yesterday you had the mini gastric bypass. I did. First and, and how'd it go? did great. Uh, I was up early walking and I've done real well. Uh, belly pain? Uh, not so much belly pain as the gas pain in my shoulders. All right. You know, the gas pain is me. Yeah. It's not It's not actually gas. It feels like gas because when God created us, he didn't give us a lot of nerves in the abdomen and the chest. Our fingertips are filled with nerves, so our fingertips, we can tell the difference between sharp and dull, soft and hard, wet and dry, warm and cold. Mm -hmm. But when he's creating our chest, the abdomen, um, the heart, and the shoulder, it's all one nerve. So uh, oftentimes you can't tell the difference between falling asleep, being stabbed five times, and have your stomach crushed, and just gas. Yeah. <laughs> but that well, feeling of gas been, pain is me. That yeah, that's me. And we strongly recommend this morning that all of you, when you go back upstairs, have a big dose of that pain medicine, the Dilaudid. Yes. Yeah, it's really good. Your body right now is giving you a, a note. It's sending you a message. It's saying, hey, uh, while you were asleep yesterday, you were hit by a bus. Okay? You have trauma. You have injury. And we assume that's God gave us that so that if we stepped on a tack, if we put your hand on the stove, it would send you a signal going, oh, take move, get it off. Well, we don't need that signal. We know that you were asleep yesterday and had surgery. So now that stress response, which is the pain signal, plus an elevated cortisone, that's what bumps up your sugar for the first day, we don't need that stress response signal anymore today. And you'll get better more quickly and feel better if you take the pain medicine this morning, even if it's mild. Even if your pain is mild, take a big, strong slug of the dilaudid narcotic pain medicine this morning, it will help you get better quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we don't want you to take it forever. Long-term use of it can have trouble. So we don't like it forever, but for this morning, it's really, really valuable. and It'll help you get better more quickly. And how long should we take it? Oh, well, we won't give it to you once you leave. Okay. So you only get it while you're here, so that's why you should take advantage of it now. When people go home, 98% of our patients don't need any more pain medicine. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. But today, it's actually good. It will help you get better more quickly by taking it. I'd like to make a comment. The uh, nurse who checked me in had this surgery two weeks ago, yesterday, I guess. Right. And she was my nurse yesterday. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And she's actually been waiting for a while to get our agreement with the local hospital here. And uh, she's doing great. We're excited about her diabetes getting better. And yeah. And, and also, of course, she's a wonderful yeah, person, too. She is, sweet girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, other questions? Anything that's not clear to you today? Um, you're going to be going home later this afternoon if all goes well. You're walking. Okay. Obviously, you walk down here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rutledge is not that smart. Okay. And you're tolerating liquids and little bits of sips and bites of this and that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those are the kind of tickets out of here. Uh, your pain needs to be very minimal kind of, uh, if it's anything more than some soreness, then you can't go home. Um, you should be able to eat, drink, and walk, and pass your urine, things like that. Okay. Probably won't have a bowel movement for almost a week. Might oh, have good. A... I've been waiting. I yeah. was like, all right. Don't hold your breath. I was, you know, I was hoping it wasn't like when you had a baby, they wouldn't let you go until you had one. No. Uh -uh. It takes a while. Your gut is kind of in shock from yesterday's surgery, and it takes a while to recover. Other questions? You know, you when you go, you're going to call us every day to check in. Anything that all that comes up, call us. Okay, good.